So, here's what I've learned. This is how I was brought up, by the way. If somebody didn't agree with you, it was like, What, are you kidding me? How could you do that? And there'd be like thunderous sounds too, by the way. I lived in an apartment so small, it was smaller than these two rooms together with seven people. This room and that room? Seven people. What's that? He did. No, I did for real. Okay? So we're talking about lots of stress. One little bathroom, like it's smaller than the one that you have here. This is what I grew up with if you went to the bathroom. How much longer you gonna be in there? Okay. So what I learned was I learned how to cope. Right? Coping is not the same as being enlightened or enlightened or being at peace with everything. Coping is typically what we do, and here's just another picture to, to make a point. It's like, I believe that all people have the tools to be enlightened or enlightened. It's already innately within you. Everybody already knows what they need. But to have a teacher, a mentor, or guide, or teachings, or people, or a community to help draw it out of you, that's the, that's the game. So coping is when you kind of know what you would, could, or should do, but you don't know how to put it together. So to me, somebody is well or enlightened, ideally, when they have, they've taken all the pieces and made their own path. They've put it together. And except for the few younger fellas in this room, the rest of us I see are over 35-ish, is that about right? Okay. Right. So to me, after about the age of 35 or 40, spiritually speaking, I would say that we're responsible or even obligated to start putting our experiences together in a way that's meaningful and profound and right for you. So if you're looking for happiness outside of yourself or to have really happy experiences in this life, good luck. We've all had good experiences, right? How many here besides me have suffered a few losses so far? How many of you know there's going to be a few more coming? See? So my happiness has nothing to do with who's living and dying here. Because we're all coming and going in this realm. It's good to profoundly accept that. And it's easy to accept when you have a profound relationship to what is the nature of reality, and who am I, what are my virtues in it, and how can I behave that way. Okay? 